Recording in progress. Good morning, beautiful people. Technical difficulties, but we're here. If I get rained on, I still love you. Let's get started, guys. Full body workout today. Take those feet nice and wide. Let's shift to the right and to the left. Side to side. Let's go ahead and lift that right leg. Let's dance. <laughs> Come on, add a little groove in your morning. There we go. Body's feeling good. I'm getting a nice little wet breeze out here. Every day is a good day that I'm above ground. <laughs> Last one. Go ahead, shift back side to side. Let's take it into that left knee lift. Lift and hold. Good. Happy Friday. What do you have planned for the weekend? We are actually going out to dinner tomorrow night in this beautiful place. It sits up really high and you can see all of Chattanooga, all the water. First outing in a while. <laughs> I won't be getting out the high heels. But at least I'll be in something other than workout clothes. <laughs> Last one. Lift and perfect. Let's take it into a reverse lunge. And opposite side. Go ahead and reach the arms. There we go. See if you can bring that knee a little lower to the ground. Take the arms to the ceiling, reach it. Push the hips forward. Okay, we got 10 seconds left in warm up, guys. I'd love to run over. Unfortunately, I can't. I have another class after this. Last one. And perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start off. Grab one dumbbell or two dumbbells, whatever feels best for you. There we go. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your feet nice and wide. Hang on right here. You're gonna squat. You're gonna go back with your right foot. Squat behind you. Come straight back up. Squat to the left side. And straight back up. So. Center, sumo squat, you can hold two dumbbells, whatever you like. One squat, left side transverse, right side transverse, back to a squat. Yes or yes? Okay, going in five, four, three, two, squat. Right leg transverse, squat. And then left leg, good. Back to the center, turn the toes out. Now on the transverse, notice I'm still squatting. You're just taking it back a little bit of an angle. Allow your toes to turn and face the same direction as your knees. Booty time. Right. Good, and then left. Good, back to center. So guys, as you're warming up here, as you're feeling better, I want you to go lower. Keep that chest lifted. Drop that butt. At least knee level. Yes, you can. I know you can. Excellent, guys. Oh, back to my spot. Thank you, Lydia. <laughs> Thinking about this ginormous bee that stung me yesterday. I was hoping he's not around. I was nice. 
I grabbed him to put him outside. He was in the house and the little turd stung me on my thumb. And I still released him. <laughs> Good, let's do one more. Right, center, left, last squat, and that finishes it. Excellent. So we're gonna alternate side to side with a chest press coming down on the floor. So you will have two dumbbells. Your palms will be facing your knees. Feel free to use the legs, guys. So I'm gonna alternate. Looks like this. Palms are up. Right leg, right arm. Left leg, left arm. Slow and controlled. You're chest pressing. Two minutes. Okay, alternate. When you go out to one side, make sure you're really feeling your core and your obliques. Slow, and then you can go a little faster on the top side. Here we go. Three, two, leg tabletop. Right arm down. Left arm. Still squeezing the scapula blade into the floor. Lower back because your legs are tabletop, should be imprinted in the floor. If you want to eliminate the legs, you can hold them tabletop, or you can just completely put the feet down. If you want a little more core, extend way out. Keep that rib cage closed. What do I mean by that? That means that floating rib down by the hip stays the same distance, regardless of how long your leg goes out, the length of your leg. Keep reaching. Yes. Nice, you're already into that next minute. Notice your shoulders away from the ears. Now, for the last 30 seconds, we're gonna progress and we're gonna do both arms and both legs. Yes, here we go. Both arms go out, both legs extend, straight back up. Gorgeous. We're only doing this for 30 seconds. Both arms, you can hold the legs tabletop. It's almost like I'm getting a facial, this light mist on my face. I hope it's good for me. I hope this rain is like a gold facial. <laughs> good, last one. And excellent, nice work guys. Woohoo! All right, so I only brought one really heavy dumbbell. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell. Feel free to use two dumbbells if you like, if you have them near you. Otherwise, grab that one dumbbell. We're gonna do an 80-20 split deadlift. Yes or yes? So I'm gonna put my right leg forward. My left is off to the side. That's the 20% all the way into the right side where I'm holding the dumbbell. So I still see this back leg. It's just gonna stay bent. Yes? I'm gonna push my hips back, which is gonna drop my chest, which is gonna give me a nice, beautiful flat back. I'm gonna gaze at the floor. Straight back up. Yes, here we go. Three, two, 80, 20, split leg deadlift. Get it. The farther you push, the butt behind you. Yes. If you notice my right leg, which is the 80%, it's not bending more. It's kind of an illusion. It stays with a slight bend. But I'm not doing this. That's different, right? Shove back, and I really feel that right hamstring. If your hamstrings, you worked them yesterday and they're already fatigued, set the weight down, just do them. It's a good stretch. When was the last time you played in the rain? Jumped in mud puddles. <laughs> Less than a minute. Good. 
I read this article the other day that said, as we get older, to be happier, we should do more things that we did when we were a kid that made us laugh and be happy. That's always been my motto. <laughs> I don't think I ever grew up. Woo! Less than 30, team. And that flat back. Again, if you're fatiguing, your range might be right here, and that's okay, right? 10 seconds. Woo. Last one. Gorgeous. All right, switch it. Opposite side. 80, 20. Flat back. Chest is lifted. One and five. Four, three. Bend the knee. Hip hinge. Now you know what you're doing. So drop your chin towards your chest. Just look at the floor. Ah, this leg feels so much stronger. Nice guys. Woo! You got it. If this becomes a wet t-shirt contest, please let me know. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I have never done that, never will. You got it. They're coming into the last 40 seconds, guys. Last 30 seconds. Nice, great range. seconds God loves me <laughs> please give bring me showers <laughs> last one and excellent okay only thing I don't like getting wet are my feet so I'm gonna set these off Computer's still dry, we're good. Okay. Guys, we're gonna go down on the floor. You're gonna go into a crunch with a shoulder press. Let me move my phone. Yeah. Okay. So one dumbbell, if it's heavy, great. If it's not, feel free to actually go into two dumbbells and then shoulder press. I am going to alternate my dumbbell with the shoulder press. I'm gonna keep it here. Tuck it down, you've done these with me before. Inhale, exhale, up, press, switch sides. Are you ready? Three, two, let's go. I'm melting. <laughs> I have to say this is kind of cool. Kind of liking the energy I'm getting from this rain. Core, shoulders, bringing it together. You got it. Okay. 
Anytime you can leave that dumbbell at the top, go down with a crunch, support your neck, and then grab the dumbbells at the top. Keep going, guys. You're in your second minute. I just gotta move my phone out of the water. That thing does melt. Less than 30. Less than 15 seconds. Yes. And last one. Excellent. All right, guys, get some water if you need it. Clothes are coming off. Straight leg deadlifts, I'm sorry. Um, regular deadlifts, okay? So straight leg, lock out, hips right here, or slight bend knees, but this time your feet are together. So I'll face straight forward. Knees, hips, hip width apart, toes, hip hinge, bend and forward. Great back up, yes or yes? So to that side view. Here we go, three, two, hip pins, drop. Big squeeze at the top. More hamstrings. Yes. Now, if you can go all the way to the floor, you're, you still have a flat back. Your knees are slightly bent, but they're not increasing that bend. And I would suggest grabbing heavier weights or standing on a bench and doing these, right? In a minute. Woo! Good job, guys. Come on. Less than 15 seconds. <laughs> Dancing in the rain. Good, last one. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna go into a kneeling dumbbell row. One knee down, whatever knee is down, that's the side that you're gonna grab that dumbbell. You're gonna hinge over. The key of re reason I want you kneeling is because I want a heavier dumbbell. I want you to reach forward and then pull back behind you. Now look where my forearm is when I'm pulling. A lot of people come up here or they go further, farther back. I want your elbow in line with your palm. So reach forward, pull. My elbow is tight to my body, so it's not out. And I want you to keep the upper body hinged forward into that front leg, which is anchored using your butt and your hamstring. Ready? Three, two, single dumbbell row. Square the shoulders to the floor. Feel that strong back. Sandy, I hope you have a 20 or a 25, Chica. <laughs> Char, do we, do we, do we? Yep. You too, Lene, Lydia. Ladies, your backs are strong. I know. I always get that. What? I can't lift that weight. Yes, you can. Boom. Boom. 
Let's get down to business. Match the breath with the movement. Inhale, exhale, pull and hold. Good, right, less than 30 seconds, guys. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Woo! Let's get down, let's get down to business. Oh, girl, let's dance. Last one. Excellent. Switch another side, guys. Engine forward. Are we ready? Three, two, and one. Now, like that 80 20 dumbbell um, deadlift. I have about 80% of my weight in that front leg. I'm leaning into it, making it my anchor. Come on, reach that weight. Run of the feet. Let's get down, let's get down the bridge, baby. Let's get down, let's get down the bridge, baby. Do one more night, one more night, got this. We had a million, million nights. Ooh, yes. Let's get down, let's get down the bridge, baby. Yep. Coming into the last 30 seconds. How we doing, guys? You're looking strong. Come on, Lydia. Let's get down. Less than 15 seconds. Boom, one more. Awesome. Excellent job, guys. Thumbs up, how we doing? All right, so we're gonna do side lunges. We're gonna stay to one side just so you don't get confused. We're gonna side lunge to the right. Both dumbbells go on each side of the knee. I shift into that right hip. I come together and then I pull the right arm back behind me. So from the side, side lunge. Pull. Now let me show you from a different angle so you see what's happening with my right toe and my right knee. Little short step, I push, see that are in alignment, and then I come back up and opposite side pull. I'll face you through these, let's go. And pull. Now, look at your wrist, neutral. And if you notice my elbow, I can shoot an arrow. My wrist is straight forward from my elbow. There you go, Sandy. Yes. Your elbow is around the shoulder height. Yes. Let's get down. Back to the shoulder. Get out of side. You want to progress, you said? Lift the knee. <laughs> Right leg lift. Why not? Boom. Ten seconds. Pull, hold. Boom. Last one. Good job. All right. Opposite side, shoulders back. Left side lunge in three, two, let's go. So feel it a couple of times. Check out your range of motion. Working through it without having to think about your form, your technique. And then at that knee, there you go. Ah, 
how high can you lift that knee seam? Woo! Less than 10. Last one. Nice work, guys. Going back down to the floor. We're gonna do three minutes of triceps. Just get a drink. Perfect. Okay. Soul pressures. Keep the weights apart until you absolutely have to push them together gonna go halfway down lock at the top okay so if I'm laying on my back all the way down halfway back up and lock lock that elbow joint second minute all the way down halfway up you got it third minute the combination of both together legs can be tabletop or flat whatever you would like are you ready I'm gonna keep my feet on the floor and I'm gonna push my chest to the ceiling Press the dumbbells up. Palms facing each other or facing your knees. Halfway down, let's go. Lock at the top. Now glance up at your elbows. I want you to visualize holding the ball right there. So that means that your elbows never go farther apart. That also means that your elbows are not moving back behind your back, uh, head. Just the forearm and the dumbbell goes back. Now your pinky is all the way up against the top of the dumbbell when you extend it and all the way down. Why? Because that increases your lever arm. These are not fast. These can be really slow. 10 seconds to go all the way to the bottom. Halfway up. Once you've pressed the weights together and then your neck modification would be to drop to one weight so you transition quickly here we go all the way down halfway up oh help me through this burn my weights are now going to be together draw the shoulders down pull the abs in tight and now i'm transitioning to one weight And then I increase my range of motion now. Still only going all the way down and halfway up. Still holding that ball between your elbows. Think about what you're gonna do this weekend instead of thinking about that burn. Lock it out like we do our significant others. In 10 seconds, we have the full range of motion. Ooh, you know that's gonna feel good just for a couple seconds, <laughs> a couple of reps. <laughs> are we ready yes you are all the way down all the way up last minute come on come on Woo -hoo. Oh, yeah. all right my arms are feeling good i'm gonna go back to two weights all about that intensity right it's all about challenging yourself pushing through it pushing through it come on 30 seconds game weights back together for me oh say goodbye to those sloppy arms <laughs> less than 10 seconds right now come on come on you got this Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was a good one. All right, guys, we're going into up downs with the curtsy. We're going to come up and do some biceps, and we'll go down and do up downs with the opposite side, and then we'll do hammer curls, and then you are done. So, up downs look like this. I'm going to turn my weights up, okay? 
I'm gonna place both my palms on them, but I'm gonna try to limit the amount of weight that I press on them. Both feet are facing forward, so I'm gonna keep this leg here. I'm gonna take the opposite leg behind and try to touch the knee to the floor. And then I'm gonna extend back up, okay? So from the front, looks like this. From the side, it looks like this. So notice this heel stays anchored. Notice this knee bends, but I'm pushing into the hip and straight back up. If you bend and your heel's coming up, you have to shorten your range of motion. Now, one other tip, because I know how strong you ladies are. I want you to not put any weight on the foot. See the top of my foot is going down, so I'm not curling my toe to push off. I'm only gonna do that when I'm at fatigue, and then I can help myself out. These are not quick. Ready, one minute. Get in the position, let's go. Now your curtsy might be different than mine, but I want you to push back and take that knee behind the foot that's anchored. Make it about a foot behind it. Maybe a half a foot, but definitely a half or more. Doesn't take a lot of these. These are my favorite. They hit that glam area. Shape it like a lip liner. <laughs> lip. Now look down at your hands. How much weight are you pushing into the dumbbell? I want you to push into the standing leg, the butt, the hip. Less than 30. Compromise. You still have weight on that back leg. Or no weight. Oh, come on. Woo. Three, two, one more. And excellent. Grab those dumbbells. We're coming up just into a standing curl, hammer curl. Now the leg that you were just working, not the one going behind, the one that was anchored, lift that knee. Ready? Hammer curl, down slow. Hammer curl, down slow. I could have made you stand and lift the opposite knee, right? That leg needs a rest. So being like a chicken right now. Lift it up. Other side. Avoid your elbows moving. Get it up there, get it up there, get it up there. Woo! One more. Excellent. Opposite side. Are you ready? You know what to do. That leg goes behind. Take this here. All right. In three, two, let's go. Reverse curtsy up, down. The leg that's in front is anchored. Toes, ball the foot, heel, nothing's coming up. Now if you're tight, the range of motion, you may not be able to put that knee all the way down. I have a funny story. We were demoing a couple of the concrete stuff downstairs and my back is, my husband is like, my back's hurting. <laughs> and I said, why are you not squatting? He's literally bending over like this, pounding. So bad for your back. Just comment. I can't squat like you. <laughs> I call BS. Oh, yeah. That's that halfway point, guys. Come on. Second, a little bit more. Uh, give me five more. Come on, we got this. Okay, 
There's four. There's three. Two. And one. And excellent. Okay. Same side that you just worked. Lift that leg. You're going to turn your palms out and lift to the side. Straight up. Slow. Lift up. Look at your elbows. They're not moving forward or back. They're just staying to the floor. Chest is pushed out. Abs are in. Lift that leg. it guys we'll do a short cool down because I know every one of you know how to stretch you know how to roll it's all about just doing it right tomorrow's workout is just gonna be as good as today's recovery recovery is what rest stretch last one yeah. Woo! You did it! Perfect. Right, down just a little. Excellent job, guys. Come on down. One knee. Lean forward. Squeeze that butt cheek. And if this feels good with your hips facing forward, no change. Grab the back leg either with a towel, either hands. And then just lift it. Remember, if you're flexible, your heel's going to come up close like mine is. If you're not, it's going to rotate your external rotation on the hip. So if that's happening, release it. Start somewhere. And then just remain strong through that, right? And you'll see changes. Ooh, I feel that quad. Hold that stretch. Perfect. Release it and just turn. Opposite side. A little rotation. Grab that foot. Remember, avoid pulling it up really quick. Do it slow. Get to that tension. Feel it. And then just hold until those Golgi tendon organs grab it. So we haven't been turning on the AC here. It's not been hot. It's been like 70s. It's been gorgeous. And my sister always runs hot. She comes over and she's like, you need to turn on your AC. <laughs> You're getting humidity in your house and you don't want that. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm such not an AC person. California, we didn't have AC. We left the doors open. I get it, but I'm, I'm doing some research on that. So if you guys know, let me know. I've always heard both sides, but I don't, I don't know. Is it good to leave your AC on all the time? Is humidity okay in your house? And release, come all the way up. We're gonna go into a, de uh, similar to the deadlift, stretch in your hamstrings. So feet are hip width apart, quadriceps, hands on the quads. Push the hips back and then just kind of lift. So you're kind of pushing that tailbone back and lift up just a little bit. You want to stretch your lower back, then you fold over, right? That's lower back. Thanks for staying with me through the technical difficulties, guys, right? Always a new day, always something. We get through it with a smile. Good, come all the way up, rounding. I want you to stretch through the tricep. Take that hand on the center of your back, push it down. Good, switch opposite side. So now on this one, when I load it on YouTube, I really can say a 30 minute workout. <laughs> With a five minute warm up and a couple minute cool down, about a three. Good, interlock those fingertips behind your back, slight bend, press away, stretch in the shoulders, the chest. OK, 
Good, and release, guys. Big inhale, reach it up center, and awesome work. Thank you. You guys did go.